I've been solving a few interesting problems and I would like to share some of them. This one is called 2D array. Given a six by six 2D array, basically is a matrix looking like this. And our glass in A is a subset of the values with indices falling in this pattern in the matrix graphical representation. There are 16 hourglasses in the matrix. An hourglass sum is a sum of an hourglass values. Calculate the hourglass sum for every hourglass in the matrix, then print the maximum hourglass sum. The array will always be six by six. So for example, if we have a matrix looking like this, the 16 hourglass sums are these. The highest hourglass sum is 28 from the hourglass beginning at row one, column two. So it's somewhere around here, right here. At first glance, this may seem like a very complicated problem, but once you visualize in a diagram, it becomes very clear and structured. It's always a good idea to draw things out. So let's take a look at the diagram. The important step here is to realize that once we figure out what the center of the hourglass is, the rest becomes very easy. To get the sum of the hourglass, we need to add the number in the center and the numbers around it, but skip the numbers to the left and the right of the center. This graph down here is not showing the two zeros on the side in our first hourglass. So we have two zeros right here. This is our matrix. In order to calculate the second hourglass, we need to increment the center number by one in the row and repeat the process. So really we're iterating through the center of the hourglasses. The range of the iteration is indicated by the pink glass here. And both rows and columns need to be traversed. This is actually the easy part. The tricky part in this problem is that negative numbers are involved. So we need to identify a benchmark and compare the sum from each iteration with that benchmark. Normally when we declare a variable to store the max total, we set it to zero. But in this case, we need to set it to the sum of our first hourglass, just in case it's a negative number. Let's look at the function implementation. So we have a function that takes in a, a matrix. Because we're iterating through the centers of the hourglasses, we will initiate the starting point at row one and column one. So the top is initiated at one, which indicates index one. We then have the total, which stores the sum of each hourglass. Then this equation here gives us the sum of our first hourglass, which is the benchmark max total that will be compared with the sum of the, the other hourglasses. We add seven numbers together, which are these numbers, this number, and these numbers. We can then use this equation in the iteration and get the positions of these numbers by shifting the index to the left, right, up, and down. It will be reassigned whenever the total is larger than max total. The while loop here represents the rows and the for loop inside represents the columns. So we initiate the index at one as well here. With each iteration, we calculate the sum, store the sum in total. If total is larger than max total, then we reassign max total to total. And we have to increment the top row by one with each iteration, so it goes down. And then we uh, return the max total value. If we want a function, this is gonna take a while. It passed everything, even including um, negative numbers. The time complexity and auxiliary space of this problem is actually all one, because the problem already said that it will always be in six by six matrix.